Greetings! Hope you're doing spectacular, amazing, and awesome. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to export um, selected tracks as a new session in Pro Tools or to take your session and export it as an AAF, uh, otherwise known as an OMF. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, uh, the first instance would be, let's say you've got a massive session like this. Well, this isn't that massive, but it's a pretty good size session. And you've got um, a bunch of instrument tracks and you just want to export your drum tracks and save that as a new session so you can give that to someone else or just separate it for a mix. Or if you've got, um, you know, like a kind of like a mix session here where you've got music, you've got Foley, you've got sound effects, and you want to export the sound effects as one session, the music as another session, um, and so on and so forth. Well, let me show you how to do that. So let's say we just want to select these, these music tracks here, and we want to export them as a new Pro Tools session. Okay? And say we'll, we'll keep all of the, the busing and... and and masters. What you're going to do is you you select each track. You can do that by holding down command and individually selecting tracks or you can select on the first track and hold shift and select the last track. Then you're going to go up to file and you're going to go to export selected tracks as new session. I'm going to show you the AM, AF, OMF second. Okay, So selected tracks as new session it's going to bring up this dialog. You're going to most likely click the latest session, but if you need to go to an earlier version of Pro Tools, you've got these options here. Um, you're going to most likely want to keep Wave. Um, the reason you want to keep Broadcast Wave is because it, it, it keeps the time code attached to the individual files. Um, Depending on your session, we're in 48 kilohertz here, um, but if you want to go to 96 or higher or lower, you can select that. You've got your bit depths, um, and you're going to want to copy the audio files with it, and you're going to want to keep um, selected tracks only. You're going to want to, if you've got a movie or, or video tracks, you're going to want to select that if you want to keep it with. Um, and that's pretty much oh, clip effects, quick presets. Uh, these are the basic things that you're going to need to export. I'm trying to think uh, main playlists only. No, these two functions here, and this should be good. And then you're going to hit OK. It's going to ask you, you know, where you want to save the session. You're going to save it as new music session. And there you have it. It'll save it as, an, as a completely new session with just the tracks you selected. Um, the other way you can do it is if you want to export it as an AAF or an OMF, an AAF is uh, generally, I, I believe it was invented by Avid. AAF and OMF are formats that uh, editors can use. So if you want to export this track so that either another editor using Avid or, or uh, Premiere or Final Cut can open these tracks up or import them, you're going to go with that method. Another one is like if you want to export it to another DAW, like Logic or something like that, AAF and OMF are kind of that uh, standard format that can that different programs can um, interchange. So you're going to go to File, you're going to Export, select the tracks as AAF or OMF. Now up here, you can select AAF is, is newer, some programs will not ex will not read AAF, so you'd have to go to OMF. Um, there's this little track uh, that if you're going to Media Compose, you're going to want to select that. Uh, if you're not, I don't think you need it selected. Uh, your 
you're going to want to use whatever frame rate your you you they need. <laughs> Probably the current frame rate that you're in. Um, Probably don't need to do sample rate conversions. Your format, most likely you want to use Wave or Embedded. Now, <clears throat> there's two different ways of doing this. Um, when I've worked with MBC, they like Embedded, meaning they like one file where all the video and audio is embedded within that file, and when you import that file, there's no relinking or anything. It just brings in all the, the, the files. Now, at Fox, they like the project file separate and they like uh, a little folder with all the attached media. So that you'll have to know what whoever's receiving this, what they'll need. Okay, same with the bit depth. Most likely you want to stick with 24. And um, let's see, this is just allowing, let's see if this, yeah, it's consolidating it. So that is that handle size means that whatever clips we have in here that you see that I've edited down, if the person on the other end needs to drag them to the left of the timeline or like expand them, this will tell you how much, how many samples or how many milliseconds they have in handle size. You can give up to three seconds or more. And you hit OK, and then you're going to say New AAF, and it'll export it as such. Okay, that's basically that. Uh, hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And if it you know was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe and share. And as always, have a super duper duper awesome one wherever you are. Okay, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.